Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video, we are gonna be doing a natural video. Y'all have been requesting for some more terraforming and decorations for natural builds. So I thought working on one of my latest builds, the squirrel themed island that's set in fall would be a great opportunity since I needed to progress it anyways. I've been working on a lot of different islands at the moment, so I haven't had much time to progress it. So this kind of motivated me to finally work on it. I do want to release a DA for this eventually. I'm just working a lot slower due to the other projects on my list and also trying to do all the builds that y'all are requesting for YouTube speed builds as well. But this is my progress so far. We're going to go ahead and walk through it. I'm doing a lot of really cozy cottage core like spots. For example, I have this little sitting spot right here and I did share a picture of it on my Instagram, which is linked below if you want to go check me out. If you don't have Instagram, I highly recommend making one because I list all of my personal builds codes on there. I have different themes that I'm working on that I like to share on my feed. Stuff you don't see on YouTube will be on there as well as, you know, exclusive giveaways on Instagram, getting access to all of my Lightroom mobile presets etc. Definitely make an Instagram if you don't have one for that reason. Not to mention you'll be able to go check out some awesome creators that I follow on there and see what they're making as well. So while we start today's build on my Nook's Cranny store, I'm going to put out this little disclaimer that I do on every single video now. If you're a regular follower, you've heard this on every single video, but for any new followers and people stopping by, I just want to put it out so we don't have our comment section flooded with the same comments like on my older videos. So my camera is really zoomed out due to a modded console running custom firmware. So that's why you're going to see the black corners with the void on there, some slight lag and lots of item loading. This happens even more so on my city core builds. So if you're going to check out the rest of my videos, you're going to notice that it is a huge problem with this mod, but I kept it on because it's easier to see what I'm doing when I'm building, etc. If you want to learn more about this, go check out the description links that I have provided if you want to learn about modding, but also if you have Instagram, Go check out my Q&A highlight on my profile. Highlights are the clickable circles that I label and I have a bunch of information regarding on that that's very important that you should read first before attempting this. So today I'm recreating a build from one of my really old islands and involves that simple well that we just placed there and I'm surrounding it by holly bushes to really feel warm and cozy with the fall red colors and it's gonna be very cozy and really close quartered on this build. I'm also gonna be using an overlay on base path, which is the wood path that we're gonna be using. And I don't remember the code for this, but it is called 3D platform. And you can search that word on criteria search to get this overlay to place on it. And it is super cute. Like I normally don't use base game path at all, unless I'm doing like a city core build. I never do it on naturals, but when I saw this, I was like, okay, this is the cutest little overlay I've ever seen. So I wanted to use it somehow. My plan for this island, once I release the DA and all that, is to make it really cozy feeling, very cottage core. I don't really do cottage core builds anymore, so I thought incorporating that onto my squirrel themed island would be great. A lot of my inspo is actually coming from Banjo Kazooie as crazy as it sounds. There is a level called Click Clock Wood and that is gonna be my inspo for a lot of my villager houses. Like I do have some villagers tucked in behind Terraform but I wanna make like this massive tree house village for the remaining ones. So that's where the Click Clock Wood squirrel inspo for that village comes from. And I've been playing so much Banjo-Kazooie lately behind scenes when I'm not playing Animal Crossing. It is one of my favorite games. I seriously wish Rare would remake the game, but Microsoft won't let them. So Rare, please remake Banjo-Kazooie. Just like remaster them for the Switch and I'll be happy. But anyways, Let's go ahead and also talk about E3 that we just got to see. So I was really bummed out that there was nothing on Pokemon. I'm a huge Pokemon fan and so not seeing any updates on the games really kind of bummed me out. But the Breath of the Wild stuff was really cool that we got to see. And I didn't really care about any of the other games because I just don't play them. But if you saw something on E3 that you really liked, let me know in the comment section below. I'm really bummed out that there was no major news on Animal Crossing. Then again, E3 is usually for just like new games and stuff like that. I don't think that they usually do, you know, Animal Crossing updates like that. 
but I'm hoping that we have a huge update for summer coming up because last year's summer event came around the 24th of June, I want to say, or 26th. It's between there. So maybe Nintendo is saving that date for our newest update. Let me know some things you would love to see in our next major Animal Crossing update in the comment section. There are so many things that I'm wishing for on next update. Like obviously Brewster returning would be amazing. I've been wanting that for a long time as many other people would be, but also I think a really cool summer wave update could be Tour Timer Island returning. We get to go to the island and there's some sort of event on there and maybe some shops over there, like maybe Lee's shop might be on that. Island expansion, of course, would be really cool. There was actually some data mines that were found that something involving the South Beach, I want to say, something about that where you're able to get on there more and it's bigger. It, then again, this is like all rumors, but also in data mines were found that fences could be customized now. So maybe we're going to be getting that. I've been digging a lot on social media just to see what people are predicting and what data mines have been found on it. And it's just, you know, it's hard to say what will be on our next update, but I would love to see something fun for summer that is different like that. I also want to see museum plants be accessible. They're so cute. Maybe the, like, you know, all the museum plants, like I'm talking even the lily pads, us being able to decorate our waters would be amazing. I would also love to see, again, as mentioned earlier, fences being customized as a big deal for me because I can't tell you how many times I've used a fence being like, wow, I wish this was a different color. I also want to see villagers that didn't make the cut into New Horizons return as well. I could just sit here and tell y'all everything that I really want to return back to Animal Crossing, but we'll save that maybe for a different video. <laughs> but, okay, wait, wait, wait. The last thing I really, really want is all pocket camp items. Like, I would pay money for all the like pocket camp items. Give them my money for that. Because I would love to be able to decorate with them and it would be really fun. So I'm hoping that maybe we get a lot of pocket camp items or just like a downloadable expansion we pay for. All right, so on to today's build. Let's go ahead and talk some more about it. As you can see, I've made some progress already. There is a lot of items in the museum right next to the actual store. My plan behind Nooks is to do cozy terraform and you're going to see a huge space behind said terraform. I don't know what my plan is for that location yet, but I'm definitely going to be filling it in more off camera and I don't know what my layout is at all yet for the rest of this build. So if you are a regular follower, you already know this, but for the new people, I wing every single build. I never come in with a plan. I know that's not realistic for other people, but not having a set plan allows me to be more creative, I guess, in a way. So every single island that I have made has been completely winged, pulled out of thin hair. So I've, something I want to add also into this video is I do plan to do more natural things like this. I'm just trying to catch up on my city core requests that y'all have been leaving me in my DMs and on the comment section. I am doing a city core series, so even if you don't do city core, go check those out because it is such a fun theme. You get to manipulate items in a way that was never intended. It is just a really fun theme in general. Definitely different from the cottage core, basic forest core islands that we always see. So I've been trying to catch up on those requests, but I do want to do a natural series at some point as well, just like we're doing city core. I also plan in the future to do several islands from start to finish on youtube like we would work from beginning to end on this and i would share it every single week you not work off camera with it etc so i would love to be able to do that for y'all for those who are struggling or you feel burnt out on animal crossing because you don't have any motivation to work on your island so maybe this will help with that and I don't know what themes would do yet, but if you want to leave me a recommendation on those themes, let me know. Also want to add about my European city that we did a couple days ago, I think, maybe a few days ago. That save accidentally got completely voided. So long story short, as a modder, you have to back up your saves a certain way or your island progress gets lost completely. I didn't make a backup yet of this. And my power went out the other day while I was working on a save editor, trying to back it up. I don't know what happened in the process of that, 
but when my power came back on, majority of my saves were completely corrupted somehow. I have no idea how it happened. Modding is really finicky for that reason. Thankfully, I had backups of my Squirrel Island and my newest island as well. I was really upset about it, but we're just going to, you know, work normal and just continue the builds that we have and start some new themes as well. So even though those builds are lost right now, I still plan to do a European theme eventually. I just need to catch up on my build requests and regroup myself after all the safe corruption that I have. I'm just trying to figure out what my plan is now, basically being like, okay, so now that all my stuff is lost, what do I do? So I do want to do actual builds on European theme again, and I do want to do a full theme around it. I'm just trying to figure out when I want to do it right now because the fact that I lost it kind of makes me not motivated. So regrouping right now until I get that motivation to redo it. But of course, like if y'all need a European build tutorial for YouTube, that's a quick build that I can do on a different save. So I'll gladly continue those builds for you so you can get inspo for your island. I also want to add into this video, thank you so much for helping me reach 4k subscribers. That really means a lot, being that I just started this YouTube channel about a month and a half ago. I used to be a Facebook streamer and transitioning over to YouTube has been kind of scary at first, but I'm really excited about it. I do plan to return to streaming, but YouTube has been compressing the quality of my 4k capture card for some reason. The settings are really different from Facebook streaming. So I'm trying to figure out how to set that up. So while I figure out how I want to return to streaming and how I need to adjust my settings, I'm going to continue to grow this channel and I'll pop in on YouTube with streams here and there as time allows. I'm a mom in real life and I have several health problems that I've been trying to, you know, take care of in real life. So being on streaming schedule is really hard for me. YouTube kind of allows me to have more of a flexible schedule now, which I'm really grateful for. And again, thankful for switching over here for that reason. It just makes my life a little more flexible. But if we do return to streaming, I think I would probably do it on Saturdays only or as time allows, like pop in here and there with it. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do it. Anyways, that is to answer some of those questions I've been getting on my comment section. So now I'm just going to go ahead and talk about what we're doing on this level of terraform. As you can see, I'm clustering in my trees and my shrubs and my flowers. There's no set way that I plan to do that. I just kind of throw them everywhere. So I just cluster it until I like it, adjust the tree heights until I like it to stop tree growth. All you need to do is plant a piece of fruit by it. It doesn't matter which side. I like to show the planted fruit for extra vegetation if I really need to fill in an area more. So I'm just going to plant it wherever on this terraform. And then I'm also planning to record some more builds on this in the future, especially the massive builds that I have planned for it, like the treehouse village, etc. It's just, you know, trying to make time for that while I catch up with build requests. But if you have any ideas you want to see on this island, let me know in the comment section. I do want to make a farm area and I do want to make like a pumpkin patch and orchard. I just need to figure out where I want to place them. So once we finish filling in this terraform, I'm going to go adjust my clock and time so I can make sure that the trees are not all red in this location. I was in a certain date during fall where a majority of the trees turned red and I do like the reds but I also appreciate all the different oranges and brown colors. So once we finish filling it in, we will adjust that color coordination on this location. Alright, so I went ahead and time traveled to get the appropriate trees that I wanted for this location and here is our completed nooks cranny. I struggle with shops and when y'all requested for some shop inspo, I was like, how am I going to do this? Because usually I neglect them or I just like throw them randomly. So y'all kind of forced me to actually think about my shops for the Squirrel Island. So I will definitely record when I do my Able Sisters as well. But I hope that this brings inspo for anyone who's been struggling like me or just needing motivation to play again. I know not having updates has made a lot of people in the Animal Crossing community stop playing. So thank you to those who continue to play and enjoy Animal Crossing with me. I don't want to be the only one playing Animal Crossing, so please, please play. <laughs> but anyways, I will definitely record more of this island. Anyways, that is the finished look again as mentioned and I will see you next video. Have a great day or night everybody. Thank you so much for watching.